Hi everybody, my name is Hannah and this is Pepper and Pine and today I'm sharing with you a recipe I got from my dear friend. It is for Persian rice. I'm going to start with three cups of basmati rice. I am making this in my instant pot but I am going to rinse and soak my rice first. I found that if I am making rice in the instant pot, I don't want to soak it for too long but if I am making rice on the stove, which I also have a tutorial on how to do that, then you can soak your rice for up to six hours. But when you're making it in the instant pot, because it's at a higher uh, temperature and there's no way for the water to evaporate, I find that just rinsing it several times and soaking it just a little bit is just right. So I'm going to rinse the water. This is organic rice, but even if it's not, I do highly recommend that you rinse your rice several times. Now I'm going to add just shy of three cups of water. When it's been soaking, you can do just a tiny bit less water, especially when you're working in the Instant Pot. I've seasoned with a little bit of salt and a dollop of olive oil. And I'm going to put it on the rice setting for my Instant Pot, which means it'll cook for about 12 minutes. During that time, I'm going to warm up my fava beans. These are already peeled. They come in the frozen section, super easy to make. I just want to bring them up to a simmer. Now that the rice is done, and you don't want to leave it in there for too long, you do want to fluff it. So I let it naturally depressurize, but you could also do the fast release. And then just keep your rice as fluffy as possible because the longer it stays in the Instant Pot, the more it's just going to form one big block. So we're going to layer in all of our ingredients now. I have seasoned every layer with salt and a very generous portion of dill weed. I am using the dried dill weed and of course more olive oil and if you have it some grapeseed oil is a really great addition. And then I'm going to layer in these fava beans. Now when you are tossing your rice, you want to make sure that you are doing it very gently. You don't want to break up any of the pieces. So by layering it this way, you really allow all of the flavors to kind of meld together and you avoid over mixing it. Now the longer this sits before serving, the better all of these flavors are going to be. All of those flavors are going to come together with the rice. It's so delicious. So I'm going to continue layering. I, I did about three layers for about three cups of rice and also it's perfect for one bag of fava beans. So this recipe all works well together. You can definitely double it and if you like more fava beans, you could definitely have a greater proportion of fava beans to rice. So now we're going to lightly mix it and I am using a large pot so that I am avoiding breaking any of the rice. You could also use a parboiled rice if you prefer and I find that those grains do stay together a little bit better and they do really well with soaking. I have prepared some turmeric chicken to go along with this recipe. That recipe tutorial is also on my channel. You can find the links and the recipes down in the description box below. I hope you'll try this one. It is super easy, really delicious, very healthy, and goes great with chicken. If you'd like to check out some of my other recipes and tutorials, you can tap on the screen right now, and you can find more information for all of these recipes on my website at pepperandpine.com. And if you want to see what we're eating, on a daily basis, you can find me on Instagram at Pepper and Pine.